Hi everyone, Mr Radcliffe here and Miss Gregory. Just like to welcome you to Geography at Wycliffe. You've all been doing geography for um, three years or more and just like to introduce you to our team. Some of you have had us right from year seven, some of you have had a bit of a change, but we're incredibly proud of what we do in um, Geography at Wycliffe. We're a growing subject and we want as many of you to choose this as possible. Before we go any further though, quite a difficult question I want you to think about. What three words would you choose to best describe geography? So, what is geography? Geography is everything about the planet. So, it's places and it's people. And the underpinning aspects of geography are social, which is people, economic, which is money, political, which is politics, and environment, which is the planet. So, it's how all of those aspects link together. And you could link anything and everything in the world to geography. Go on then. Link chocolate to geography. So we've just done this with year seven. So we've looked at how chocolate is produced as it's grown from a cocoa bean um, in warm places around the world. So a lot of African countries grow cocoa beans and the farmers will harvest it, which is linked to jobs, which is economy and people. It's then harvested, it's shipped, it's transported between countries, so it moves internationally. And then it will go to factories where it's um, baked and transformed and fermented from a cocoa bean into ultimately a chocolate bar and is then sold again around the world to people maybe in other countries okay geography it's relevant it's now it's every day it's a subject that is hands-on it allows us to make sense of the world around us as miss gregory said earlier there's a variety of topics okay and we're going to visit a few shortly um, that look at both human and physical geography. And they tackle some of the most pressing things that are happening in the world today, no more so than the pandemic that we are going through at the moment. Skills, the things that you develop during school and in your careers. Studying geography provides you with a variety of them valuable skills, okay, cross subject skills that will allow you to prepare for everyday life. Here are a few of them. Place and locational knowledge, fieldwork understanding, data interpretation, geographical argument, teamwork when we go on our fieldwork days out. Okay, variety of them really, really important life skills. So here I am in the aftermath of the Chile earthquake. So at GCSE we study two earthquakes in contrasting areas of the world. So we do one in a more high income country and one in a low income country to see the effects and the impacts and how that changes. In the hazard section we also look at hurricanes, typhoons, tropical storms. The name depends on whereabouts in the world you are. So here I am in the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan. Um, which is a case study we look at to see the impacts of hurricanes and again how they impact people, how we can rebuild and learn from them. Okay, so I've taken the four hour journey down the motorway to come to, down to Bristol, south of the UK. We have to study UK places within our GCSE and Bristol's one that we choose to do in a lot of detail. We look at the, the development, the social disparities, um, to understand why Bristol is so important to the UK and how it has developed into being one of the most important cities in our country. All right, slightly different location I've made my way to now, the Makoko slums over in um, Lagos in Nigeria. We study Nigeria um, in two aspects, the country as a whole, okay, as a newly emerging economy, all right, and we also look at Lagos and the social disparities there. All right, migration into Lagos and its economic development over time. So our third paper, paper three, is made up of geographical skills, which is fieldwork based and issue evaluation. So we do two pieces of fieldwork, one to a physical environment like the coast and another one to a city.
So, Mr Radcliffe, what could I do with geography? Absolutely loads. Many employers absolutely love to see geography on someone's CV and personal statement. It shows they're aware of the world around them, okay, and that they have the many skills that they will have developed through that GCSE um, specification. And as well as that, there is an amazing crossover between the arts and sciences. So a lot of what you do in geography, you will pick up and might have explored aspects of already in other subjects. So it combines really, really well with subjects that you might choose to take beyond with. Uh, Mr Radcliffe, how many lessons will I have of geography? Um, we're incredibly lucky at Wycliffe because the way the curriculum works, we get an extra hour a fortnight, so we go up to five lessons over two weeks. So, Miss Gregory, um, should I take geography because my friends are taking it? Hmm, this is a common one, um, and our answer would be no. Your interests will be different to your friends. Some of them may be the same, but you might have different career paths, different ideas, and there's no guarantee that you'd even end up in the same group as your friends, so you might not see them anyway. Um, so, no, take what you are interested in. What if I don't like some of the topics we study? Well, as you've heard throughout this sort of presentation, we have a wide range of topics that we study, both physical and human. So if there is one that you are, say isn't your favourite, we won't be studying that for long before you, we move on to another topic that potentially will interest you slightly more. Okay, and the last question, Miss Gregory, what support is there to help students to be successful who take geography? Well, first and foremost, the geography teachers are there to help you. So whoever your classroom teacher is, they will do their best effort to help you be successful in geography. And that starts in the classroom. But if you need that extra little bit of support, we have two Achieve sessions a week after school um, where Miss Hobson and Mr Rain would be there. And us geography teachers pop in and out as well to provide you with some additional support. And we also are very lucky to have Mr A and Mrs Hobson in some of our GCSE geography lessons where they can um, come around and maybe challenge you a little bit, so push you or give you a little bit of help, give you a hint if you need it. Um, and they make a massive difference and our students say how helpful that is to have. Okay, so why should I choose geography? This is something we're going to finish off on and that box right at the top. Um, we want everybody to choose geography, we're not going to lie, but anybody can okay, choose geography. At Wycliffe Mount, the way in which our curriculum works is we build you over year 7, 8 and 9 to be prepared to be as successful as you possibly can be um, as a GCSE geographer. So geography is a broad academic subject, it'll open up massive options for your futures, some positions that haven't even been designed yet potentially some of you will be taking on in the future. Employers and universities see geography as a robust subject which is rich with skills, okay, knowledge and understanding and these subjects, just to reiterate, do cross-link, they combine with other subjects around school that you might choose okay that you can share that knowledge and understanding across and if you if you were to choose geography um onto university level just like me and miss gregory there are literally hundreds of courses across the country and across the globe to choose from okay and don't just take our word for it see for yourself okay absolutely hundreds of career areas Okay, that potentially you weren't even aware existed yet.